Hello, Rockers and Mercuryans. Rock Mercury here. Welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. So, we have something very special today. We are opening two amazing packages that I've been looking forward to because they're music-based. So, we have two $500 worth of instruments, digital instruments, right here. We're going to be opening up. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Um, while I do this, I'm going to be drinking some of this Khalifa Farms pumpkin spice because it's pumpkin spice season, beebs. And I know some people, some people don't like pumpkin spice, like my sister who doesn't like pumpkin spice. How dare she? Pumpkin spice is delicious. And I haven't tried this version before and I really love Khalifa Farms. So I'm hoping that it's gonna give the give. Um, so let's see what it's like. Pinky up, pinky up. Oh, my beard. Mmm, very delicious, absolutely delicious. Loving the flavor, love the little tinge of cinnamon, and yeah, that's that's definitely. This is definitely a um a Christmas season winter winter season drink. Okay, let's get to this package opening because I'm super excited about it. I don't know which one to open first. Um, I think I'm gonna open this one because it came first. This is the machine. The micro micro machine. These are both native instruments, which are known um, to be the most high quality digital instruments you can get. Um, and so I really wanted to get these for my. I use Logic Pro X, and I thought it would be a really a great addition to my my flow, my workflow as I'm producing, because I want to get a little bit more. Um, I want to get more intricate with my beats. You know, as I make. An, an Akai, an Akai um, digital like a uh, MIDI keyboard, which was great. I liked it. It's in, it's in Los Angeles right now, um, so I thought I would get this one for out here because um, it's in my Los Angeles studio. So I have this one for my studio out here, and I figured I should go with the best, go for the best, you know. So right away, I opened this one up. This one retails for about two. 50, I believe, something like that. Um, oh my God, all on Amazon. It's on my Amazon store under music gear, rockmercury.com. Click on Amazon, you can check it out. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's really pretty. She's pretty. Let's open up the plastic too. Let's get all of her out right now. Now this is how you're gonna be able to make beats, um, drum beats and, you know, uh, organize your samples so they can be playing live, like if you're doing a live show or anything like that. Um, oh my God, this is the top of the top line in this range. Like this is the top, top line for those, like a more of a, a mini situation. Like this is, you know, of course there's other ones that you can, that you have that are not as portable, but this is like the portable vibe right here. And it has the USB cords back here, USB cable and the, um, I guess there's a lock on the back. I don't know what that lock is. Just a little lock right there, but this is just so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right now, just so y'all can see it. Um, see what it looks like when it loads up and everything. Um, that is so dope. It comes with a a USB cord, USB, and so it goes into the back here. Let me just go ahead and open that up. Let's see what this is first as we're doing that. Here's a little pack right here. I don't know what this is. I'm very, very curious. I don't want to show y'all something that y'all can. Oh, there's my serial code on here. I don't need y'all to see that. Um, but yes, so it has this right here, and it has, ooh, some stickers. I love some stickers. Yes, yes, yes. That's so good. Um, okay, so machine, native instruments, the future of sound. Um, be great. It's, uh, it's all the instructions and stuff. I don't really need this right now. I'm just going to plug it in. It should, I've heard that it goes really easily with your, um, with your system, with your, like, your doll, my digital work audio space, which is my Logic Pro X. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up, get my computer all ready. It's, my computer's off camera, but it's a, it's a MacBook Pro, a Mac, MacBook Pro um, 15 inch, so the biggest one. Um, let me have some more coffee because I'm like living. But if you guys are just late in here, I'm drinking my pumpkin spice coffee. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this creamer in here. I want a little more pumpkin spice in this as I'm drinking today. 
A little bit more pumpkin spice, honey, honey, work. Yes, work, work. Yes, work. Yes, baby. Yes, 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 work. Okay. Mm. Tap that screen, you guys. Tap that screen for the likes. I'm giving you guys a brand, great grand opening of this amazing product that you guys definitely want to get if you guys are as serious about your music. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. And I have some more of the Magic Cookie Bar. This is the crumbs of the Magic Cookie Bar. So I'm going to eat these too. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why not? Delicious. All right. Let's get into this. That's the cord. Mm, put it in here. Mm. I put it right in there. There we go. It's plugged in. Now, when I plug it into the computer, it should start lighting up. We're going to find out right now. I plugged it in. Oop, there it goes. It lit up. Y'all saw the light up happen? I know y'all saw that. I know y'all saw that light up. Um, I don't even know. What to, okay, hold on. Let me get my logic up right now. I'm going to put this up and it should, it should like just go all the way up. Let me put a, a, a new folder up right now. Let's see. Open, recent. I have my new song, Billy, that I'm working on. Y'all won't hear it, but I just want you to see kind of the vibe that's going on. Maybe I will put an instrument out just so I can see, you know, how it works a bit. Let me go ahead and get another instrument added. Um... Let's see, a software instrument, and with alchemy, that's fine. Let's do a, the generic, whatever it comes up automatically. Um, and then I'm just going to see if it starts to play or something. I don't... Let's see, hello, hello, what's up, Austin the Mighty? Good to see you. Thank you so much, Austin Mighty, Austin Mighty in the house. Um, okay. Machine micro, you see the little lights on here. I feel like I need to like learn more about this before I use it because I don't actually know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be honest. I really don't know because I haven't used a pad on its own like this. So that's why I got these so I can learn it and be better and better at it. But y'all did see the rainbow happen. Like the whole thing went down with this. So I just want to be able to show you guys how the input is. File, let me go to control. You know what I do? I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and out again. Just so I can see what this does. There we go. There we go. You saw the light go on. So that's that's all we do for this. But it, it, it's a drum kit. Like we'll we'll do another one where when I learn more about this, so that we can program the drums in there, the um, semitones and octaves and copy, clear auto, quantize, redo. There's all kind of different things. So let's open the other one now. Let's open the other one. Um, I'm super excited about both of these. But I got them both because I figured if I'm going to be serious about this, I don't want one that's like the all-in-one. Sometimes you get an all-in-one kind of kit with your with your um, the MIDI keyboard um, paired up with a little smaller drum kit set. I wanted a full size of both of them. I felt like, well, like a full portable size. And the quality of this option felt like right, like it was the right way. And the reviews I, the reviews I watched... It looked amazing, so we're gonna check this one out and see if the keys are weighted enough and all that. Because the other keys that I have in LA is have a weighted keyboard, but it's way bigger. Like it's like, you know, huge, like bigger than that. I can't even show you. Um, so you guys keep on, keep on clicking the screen, please. Keep on clicking the likes because we need to get those likes up. Um, you know, appreciate everybody here. You don't. It's free to like, so please, please be liking. Oh. Hmm. I'm dipping. Let's go. Mm. Let's get into it. So this one is the keyboard. It's portable while still being having full size capabilities. Now I'm not playing live, so for me, portable is perfect for for producing. For me, portable is like right on it. I can always change the octaves. I can always change the key. Afterwards, I can always um, what do you call it um, not auto tune it, but there's a word called um, 
what's this, what's the word? It's appreciate, uh, quantize. I can quantize it. That's the word I was trying to think of, quantizing. So that's good for producing. If you're doing it live, you might want a full size. But even if you are live, there's ways with these kind of keyboards to, um, look at that, you guys. Ooh, yeah. Like, this is an M32, the control MP3. But even with these type of keyboards, there's ways to quickly move from octave to octave. So that's really dope as well. Ooh. All right, so we got our keyboard here. And we have the cord as well for it. It's like the same cord for both of them. So that's really cool. Um, yes, you guys. Ah, and I have some wireless um, earphones that are coming in the mail. That's not coming now, but that's coming for a little later on. I think it's coming for Christmas, to be honest. So I already have, I'm going to use my other earphones until my wireless ones come. I have some Beats. You know, Beats, they had a great Black Friday sale, so my family's got me that for Christmas. You know, who cares about surprise? I'm like, let's get the deal. I want that 300 It's like $340, but they got it for like $149. So it's like, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm excited for those. But for now, I still have some earphones I'm going to use. Some big headphones for my first um that were a good price too, but you know, let's get into this right here. Oh wow. She is pretty. She is pretty, pretty, pretty. It's just the simplicity of it is the vibe. You know? The simplicity. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, we got 1.6 thousand likes, you guys. Thank you so much for those likes. So that's the complete. The complete MIDI keyboard set in. Ooh, wait, there's plastic still on here. Hold on, get that plastic off of there for all you ASMR people. Ooh, oh, it, it got stuck to me. It got stuck to me, oh my gosh. And make sure you guys stick to the end because I'm gonna talk about some drama at the end of this video. Some drama that happened. It's not anything to do with this, but anybody who's been following my situation recently, you guys will be wanting to know some updates. So I'm gonna let you guys know. So don't, don't leave right away, like stay here and kind of watch. Um, but yes, you guys, ooh, this complete, like, oh, and, and there's a foot pedal. There's a foot pedal um, input in there. I don't really use a foot pedal, to be real. Like, that's just not what I use. But I don't even know what foot pedal's really for. I guess it's, like, to, like, to activate some compressors or something, or I don't know. I don't really use foot pedals. I use the MIDI keyboard. Um, I know people, I know a lot of artists do use the foot pedal, but that's just not, that's not what I do. Uh, maybe in the future I will. It's good to have the option for when, maybe when I learn what it does. I'm like, you know what, I want me a foot pedal. There we go, plug it right in. Plug it right in. And there's this lock thing again. I don't know what this lock thing is. I need to look at the, at the, um, I had to look at the, like the instrument, the thing, whatever, whatever thing. Okay, let me, let me plug it in just to see what happens when you plug it in. Um, I'm so excited, you guys! It finally came. Oh, I was like calling, AT, I was calling, um, calling Amazon. Like, where's my package at? Because things have been really delayed lately. Like, I think with all the recession and stuff, and all kind of things are going on. Um, oh, this one retails for about one one ninety around about that. So, um, and I got it brand new. Everything's new. I didn't get the, the um, open box thing because I wanted it to be right. You know, I don't want anything to be damaged or anything like that. So, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and I'm going to unplug the drum kit. And I'm going to put this in instead just to see what happens when I plug it in. So the light's right up. Everything lit up. I don't know if y'all see it's all that, but it all lit up. Ooh. Yes, honey. It feels nice. It feels like it's weighted enough. Like some of them don't have any weight to them. Like this has weight. Like some of the other keyboards I've played with, like they don't have any weight, especially the portable ones. It has a nice feel to it. It's 
So I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in just so I can see this board and how it does light up. I'm gonna have to do other videos with this once I learn more, other tutorials. Look at that, ooh, yes. It all lit up. It has a little screen right here to tell you whatever it's gonna tell you. Um, template one, MIDI mode. Um, and then there's like a, this octave situation here. I guess when you touch it, it goes up and stuff. Like you can kind of like have a touch effect. I don't, I don't know. But I am so excited for both of these right now. I am going to be making so much more music with you guys. Like, yeah, for the for the thumbnail, the thumbnail. Yes. Yeah, this is five hundred dollars, <laughs> but it was worth it. Um, so I just feel like it's time to get really serious. A lot of times I've made music. And I love I love my method. I love my process. I have nothing against any songs I made. It's just always time to keep evolving. Um, and at the beginning, I was using a lot of MIDI keyboards, and it was like it was more it was more original stuff like that. Uh, late as of lately, I have been playing around with more loops and adjusting the loops so that it's still custom to what I you know to something that you never hear anywhere other than a Rock Mercury song. But it was. It wasn't as original as I would like it to be. Like in my head, when I come up with a new song, I hear every single part of that song. Like every single instrument, every single like drum line, like all transitions, I hear it in my head. And so I feel like I haven't had the exact tools that I would want to bring that to life until now. You know, I feel like these are the tools that I can like really master them because these are high, high quality. This is like the top, top level quality. Um, when it comes to portable because I don't want to like do a big a situation where I can't travel with it because then like I like to go around I mean I, I'm at home a lot but I also like to have like a, a tight setup so I can just you know get into the zone and not have it too clunky and bulky and things I don't want that bulk in case I am somewhere else I don't want anything to ever like make me feel like I can't create like if I have to go to, to the office or somewhere else and create I can always take these with me put them in a, in a case and I'm, I'm there I'm, I'm ready wherever I gotta go oh Oh y'all, I'm gonna eat this spoon. Um, I'm ready where wherever I gotta go, I can I can go do it. And so um, that's the vibe I'm looking for when it comes to my music. You know, now I've seen people like Chloe Bailey, who I love, Chloe Bailey, Chloe Bailey who's one of Beyonce's artists, one of Beyonce's, who she supports, and is signed, Chloe and Haley, Holly. Oh, is it Haley or Holly? I think it's always Holly. I love, I love them both. They're beautiful, gorgeous queens. Um, they, Chloe produces a lot of their music and produces her, a lot of her music too. And she uses these kind of keyboards. Like, I don't think she uses, no, she uses this exact type, but she does use like smitty, like smaller portable once, because she's traveling a lot, she's going all over the world, and she produces stuff ready for the radio off of those. And I clap for her and bow down to her. I don't care what anybody says about Chloe Bailey. She is that B-word. She is that B-word. I can't say it on here because we're on TikTok. But she is that B. And I love her, and I'm so thankful for her new, her, like, confidence and her vocals and her produ production skills. I've done the commercial with her before. She was, she was amazing to work with. Um... Is a beautiful person inside and out. And I don't know why people have to compare it to Beyonce because it's like, she loves Beyonce. It's like, we all love her. Like, why do we have to compare her? She's just living her life, creating her own realm. Um, and I support her completely. Only thing I don't support is that I like the song that she put out recently, but I don't like that she put Lotto on there. I'm not a fan of Lotto. Um, Lotto has disrespected Nicki Minaj and I'm over her at this point. Until... Until Lotto apologizes to Nicki Minaj, then I have no interest in Lotto. I think Lotto lowers the quality of that song that they did together, her and um, Chloe Bailey. But I still love the song. The song is a good song. I can't, it's a good song. But when Lotto comes on, it's like, meh, meh. But all I have to say, Chloe Bailey does so much on her own, and she's not given the respect that she deserves. Well, maybe she is. She's very famous. She has a lot of followers, so maybe she is giving that respect. 
but I think she deserves a lot, a lot of tons of respect um, for producing her own work. And I want to get at that level where I'm not relying on loops so much. Like, just because I make the loops unique doesn't mean that they're exactly how I hear in my head. I have to adjust how I want my song to come out when I use those loops. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to just go, I want to really print out what's in my mind. I want to print, I want to have, it, have the idea, have the concept, print it out into the universe using these instruments. So that is the goal. That's the goal. Um, and thank you guys for being on this journey to watch it. This will not be the first video um, using these instruments. I'm going to be doing other little lives and stuff and making songs and beats and stuff with them. Um, I, I realized that I won't be able to go live and make the whole song with you guys because my songs are very explicit um, until I finish. Oh, I don't... My songs are very, very explicit and the lyrics are very exp explicit. So... I can't make the whole song live, but I can do the instrument. I can do the beat live. I can come on here and be like... You know, I can go, I can give that. I can serve like a cute little like beat moment where I do the beat with you guys and then I record the vocals on my own later. And I would record the vocals with you guys. I don't care. I would totally do it. But it's just like, I'd be saying what I got to say on these tracks and TikTok can't handle it. And TikTok really just wants to like shut me down whenever I like keep it real. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So um, just now, after I'm live with you guys, that's when I thought, like, you know what? Even if I can't do the whole song, at least I can come on here and do the beat with you. At least. That's the least I can do. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this live. Hope you guys tried this pumpkin spice Khalifa Farms um, coffee creamer. I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you are like, you like pumpkin spice? And you're a rapper? I'm an artist. I'm a producer. I like what I like. I do what I do. I do what I want. Um... But it's pumpkin pumpkin spice is giving. And if you're not if you're, if you're not a fan of pumpkin spice, you need to really reconfigure your life and figure out where did you go wrong for you to not like pumpkin spice? Where did your life take a turn? You know? Where did your life take a turn for you to disrespect the pumpkin spice latte? You know? Like this is that girl. She's that girl. She's delicious. Mm. And this is sponsored by Khalifa Farms. <laughs> no, this is not sponsored by them. But it should be because why not? Why not? Give me some money. Who cares? Also, this is sponsored by Native Native Instruments, which is also not sponsored by them either. But what if it was? Mm. Okay, now I have some drama to talk about. Y'all ready for the drama? Check these instruments out the way. I don't want anything to happen to these instruments, but I'll talk about this drama that we have going on. So, some of you guys may have known that a few weeks ago, or two weeks ago or something, it's been a, it's been a couple weeks, I believe, or at least a few days. I'm really confused on what happened, when this happened. I have the I have a police report for this incident, but I don't remember. I have to look it up. Anyway, where is my police report at? Is it in here? I think I kept it with me in this, like right here. Let's see my police report's in here. Where is that police report? Well, I think this is it. Here it is. Police report right here. Um, does not have a date on it. Does not have a date. Hmm. All right. Well, here's the police report. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I don't know when this happened. I, I wish I could look at my phone to figure out when I when I like was calling for this. But I've been going through a situation because I experienced a hate crime at my local gym that I go to every single day, and this man decided to us uh, to verbally assault me and to um, threaten me, threaten my life. Um, and so I called the sheriff's. I called the sheriff. 
but I didn't call the deputy. Because I don't know the deputy's number, but I do, I do know the sheriff's number, so I did call the sheriff. Um, and at first I went to the management team. Um, but first of all, let me tell you why this happened. This man saw me in the locker room where people get changed into their new clothes. I was in my birthday suit, kidding, putting my moisturization on myself, because that's what you're supposed to do before you put your clothes on so that you can stay hydrated and look as, you know, refreshed, as, as like lifelike, you know, as moisturized, as undry, undusty as I do, you know? Like, he doesn't understand that situation, and so he was fueled with envy and fury about his dustiness and wishing that he looked like me and probably wanting me or something, I don't know. But he decided that he was going to confront me and tell me to put some clothes on. Right? But that wasn't enough for him. I told him to go mind his own business and that he needs to go F himself, right? Like, leave me alone. Like, I'm minding my own business. I'm putting my clothes on. Like, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? All that. He takes it to the next level. He starts threatening, like, we can take this outside. Da -da -da. Like, he, this man's this man's a P, a P word and this man's a a baiter like all these tra crazy things he was trying to accuse me of and i'm like i don't even know you sir i never met you in my life this is a like a middle-aged um a, a black man like myself um but he's he's middle-aged i'm not middle-aged like he's like in his 50s or something is that middle-aged or that old i don't know all i know is that silver sneakers age so he decided that he was going to just hype up on me and try to come for me and come for my life and threaten me. And I was like, you got the wrong one over here because I will sue you. Like, I'm just not that one. Um, so I called for security. I called, like, there was thankfully a man who was a witness, um, a um, one of the employees there. He witnessed the situation and he called for support and security. Um, and they walked this man out of the locker room. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm reporting this situation to the gym membership, the gym management. So I did. I reported to the gym, the gym management. They told me that I need to put a, a file a police report because this man verbally assaulted me. So I did what they what they told me to do. I filed a police report. I went back to the gym again the same day. Um, they told they said that the man had left, but he hadn't left. He went upstairs to keep working out. Um, so I called the sheriff, and the sheriff came, and they had a discussion with this man. Um, and he lied to them. I heard him. I told him, I told the sheriff that he lied. They did a police report, the report, report I just showed you, the police report. Um, and they, I, I took that police report to the management later on, like after I talked to them and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm condensing the story because I already said a lot of this on my previous lives. I went into detail about every step that I went through on this process. In fact, the same day that it happened, I went live and discussed it. Um, and so they, they did their they did their search and everything they did their investigation because he was lying and because like there wasn't any video evidence there they had a hard time they were in a hard space they couldn't really take too many actions that they wanted to um, but the management the management said that they did tell him that he needs to not be talking to anyone there and that they did they said if anything else happens there's a there's a formal report on the account and that he that harsher a harsher action will take place if he continues to harass the members and I was like, he needs to go, he needs to be charged. Like, this man threatened me and, like, and accused me of things that are, like, defamatory. defamatory. Um, and so, flash forward, I'm on live, on live. You meet me? You wanted to go with me, okay. Oh, I want to go with you, where are you going? To Sam. Okay, I do want to go, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get off right now. Okay, I'm not now, I'm like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right, cool, I'll be ready. All right. All right. Um... So I am gonna go to Sam. I'm going to Sam's Club in a second. <laughs> I love going to Sam's Club. I'm like, oh, I wanna go, take me, mommy. Um, okay, anyway, what was I saying? So he did me dirty, whatever. He tried to like come come for my life. I took it to upper management after they couldn't do what they wanted with it what they were supposed to do, which is ban him. I took it to the corporate office and I told them that I was gonna sue them for a hate crime and that um if they don't take action, I don't want this man at this gym. Um, and I said that if I see him again, I'm going to be pressing charges. Um, and so today I saw him again. I didn't see him. I heard him. He said out of my vision and he did not talk to me at all, but I heard some stuff he was saying. He apparently he had his stuff locked up in my same locker section. There's like different rows for your lockers. So I'm doing the same thing I do in my birthday suit, getting my stuff oiled up, getting ready to get dressed, looking fierce and fresh. Like he could never do. He could never look like this. That's why he's mad and dusty. Anyway, 
So I was getting dressed and getting ready. I heard him say to the one of the um, his friend that was there. He was like, "Is that is that guy over there still? Is that guy over there?" Um, and then he said it to the to the employer, like, "Excuse me, is that guy over there still?" And they were he was confused, like, "Who are you talking about?" Like they don't they didn't understand. Basically, he wanted him to go get his bag for him because he was too cowardly to even be able to go to that section and get his bag. I have him that shook. The same man that was over here threatening my life, telling me he's going to F me up outside, F me up in the whatever room, wherever I want, he's going he's gonna to fight me. He wanted to fight me. Um, I'm like, I don't fight. I call lawyers, honey. Like, I don't have the time, I got time to fight you. What am I going to look like getting thrown in prison to fight some random person I don't even know you? Like, are you serious? Like, that's not how we're doing this. And if I'm going to fight, then somebody's going to grow in the grave and it's not going to be me. So it's like, why do you want me to fight you? Anyways, he was like, he, worked, he apparently he worked for the feds. That's what he said. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's call your coworkers up. Let's call the feds up. That's why I called the sheriffs. And I was like, did the whole situation. They interviewed him. They did the whole police report and all that. So this man today, he had the he had the employee go to my section and get his bag for him and brought it back to the um, brought it back to his side. And he, and he was like, oh, what a good what a good Samaritan. He was just trying to like talk it up. And you didn't say mess about me. He wasn't talking crap, crap about me. But I heard the guy that was he was with saying like, oh yeah, anybody who does that like that kind of snitch activity, calling me a snitch basically that they were referencing referencing towards me being a snitch. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea for a new rap song. So I've already started writing a new rap song with my sister about snitching because I don't believe snitches get snitches. Snitch, snitches get get itches with the B on top of it uh, because we need, that's the ones who stay out of jail. How are you going to get B, B itches with a B without, if you're in jail, you can't. So, oh, nothing wrong with snitching. You gotta say what is going on to get that support. You pay, you pay these security, these police officers. I love the boys in blue. I never have any issues with the police. They always have been respectful to me. Even that's this this situation, they helped me out. They got me on my police report. They couldn't press charges because they didn't hear him do the. I don't have, I didn't have video evidence of him threatening me, but they did reprimand him. You know, but they just couldn't take him in. And so um, I took it to the top top level, um, and I'm gonna write a song about snitching. And it's going to be dope. My, my sister, we already started writing it. It's going to be dope. It's going to have a rap song, too. It's going to be some music, um, some, like, vocals, vocal play, everything. It's going to be real fun. But it was just so funny. It really, it really like, I felt that closure that I wanted. Because I'm like, why are you going to disrespect me like this? I didn't do anything to this man. I didn't pr pr provoke him at all for him to say these things to me. Like, for him to attack me out of the blue because he was so repressed. Now, meanwhile, when you go into the locker room... There can be 20 people undressed in there, like all at the same time, living their life. That's what you do in the locker room. You're changing. You're getting, like, putting your lotions on and getting, like, why are you coming after me? Just because in this one particular time, I happen to be the only one in that locker, in that section, undressed, and nobody else was even in that section but him as he walked by. So he wanted to disrespect me and try to bully me. And so to hear him be such a coward that he has to have his little, his little employee go over there and get his bag for him because he was too scared to go get his bag it was hilarious to me hilarious and it was the karma that he deserved he knows not to f with me again and that's what counts you know and so i'm gonna i i took it to the corporate office they they said they're gonna take this very seriously this matter is still in investigation and they are like seeing how they can get him banned or whatever because i told them that i'm very serious about pre pressing charges further so am i really gonna do that i don't know i don't really have time for all this i'm kind of over it all i was happy with what i got today just hearing him be so cowardly after he tried to attack me Hear him be like, oh, I don't want to, like, is that guy over there again? Is that guy, he can't even say my name. First of all, I don't even know his name. And, I, and honestly, I don't even know what he looks like anymore because I did see him when the sheriff talked talk to him, but he's so unmemor unremarkable. Like, I don't remember him like that. Like, I don't, like, he was just some basic dude. Like, I don't even, I don't know this person. He's not even hot. So it's like, if he's not hot, then I'm not going to remember you. You have to be hot to be remembered. So it's like, what are we doing here? What is this? Um. Anyway, so... That happened today. I felt very revenged. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like, I'm just, I just feel like, don't F with people. Like, why are you bothering me? I didn't do anything to you. Um, but defend yourself. If something happened to you, you got to defend yourself. And I defended it for other people. He, he was going to think twice about coming for anybody else. Because the other people in there that are getting undressed too. So I was like, I don't want him bothering anyone else. We pay a lot of money for this gym membership. It costs over 140 a month. So it's like, why are you over here talking to me at all? Like, I don't want, I don't even want to talk to anybody. So why are you talking to me and saying all this stuff to me? Um, you're getting 
blocked and banned from this gym, you know? So I'm going to keep on going. Um, I mean, honestly, I mean, I think I might be done now. I'll let them do whatever they're going to do. I took it to the highest level they can go. And they'll do what they're going to do. I'm not afraid of this person. Even when he was talking mess to me, I was cussing him out back. I'm like, you need to leave me the F alone. Like, I don't even know you. Get the F away from me. Like, I was really very clear. But it was just the principle of him thinking he had the audacity to confront me. That was the part that got me, like, heated. I was like, ooh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to teach you a big old lesson. I'm going to embarrass you in front of everyone you know here. Because he, apparently he knows people there. But how much you, how many people are you going to know when you're banned from here? So... That's all I got to say. The moral of the story, don't F with Mercury and don't let anybody F with you. So, all right, you guys, I got to go. We're going to the store. Rock on, Mercury, and have a beautiful day. Um, you better slay. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Go get some pumpkin spice and live your best life. Bye. Rockmercury.com for all things Rock Mercury. And I'll be doing beats and stuff. And I'll, we'll do, we'll have a cute little moments here. So stay tuned for the cute little moments. Bye.